Welcome to Thomas Star Academy Martin in class. In today's class, we shall be looking at a um, determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. In my last class, I've explained the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix. So, in today's class, we're going to be discussing how to find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. Before we do that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please let me do so. Let me like my videos, let me share my links. Thank you. Now, we're going to, I'm going to look at, in this class, I'm going to look at two ways of um, solving determinant of um, three by three matrix. We're going to look at two ways. We're going to look at two methods on how you can find the determinant of three by three matrix. Well, let's all look at this. This is, um, let's say we have matrix A, is this. Let's assume we have um, 2, 1, 5. We have 3, 2, 4. We have um, 5, 1, 3. This is 3 by 3 matrix. This is typical example of 3 by 3 matrix. And then what we are trying to look at here is that we are talking about determinant. How do we find determinant of 3 by 3 matrix? Now, in this case, the first method I'm going to look at here is that we are going to pick the element we have in the first two um, column of this matrix, we bring it out, 2 and 1, bring this one out, 3 and 2, bring it out, 5 and 1. That is the first thing we are going to do. We are going to bring it out. This is um, the first column, the second column, and what? This is the third column. The first two column of the matrix, we bring it out. So what is the next thing we are going to do? Now, Let's pick this. One, two. We have this. That's the first thing there. Now the next thing to look at here is this. Let's pick this. One, two, three. Now, let's Go to the next, okay, let's use this marker. The board. Good. Good. You have done that. The next thing to do is very simple. How do you find determinant? How do I find the determinant? This is donated by determinant. If you find determinant, this is how I'm going to put it down. It is donated by that. Let me put it properly for you. This is determinant. We want to find this. What is terminal? Now, how do we do this? We're going to go through this method. You multiply this. Let's let's start with where I put the red marker. This one, two, three. Now, what we're going to do here is this. You're going to multiply what you have here together. Three times two, times two. Three times two is six. Six times two is twelve. That is twelve. Plus five times four. Is 20, 20 times 1 is what? Is 20. Plus 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 5 is 15. We have that. Minus. We go to know we have blue marker. 5 times 2 is 10, 10 times 5 is 50. You have that. 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. You have that. Then, we have 3 times 1, 3 times 3 is 3, I mean it's 9, 9 times 1 is 9. Now, in doing this, you have to be very careful. You have to do it like two times so you don't make a mistake. You have to look at it very well because we have a lot of numbers and it's very easy to make a mistake while you are doing there. So let's look at it again. 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12. We've got it that. 5 times 4 is 20, 20 times 1 is 20, we've got it that. Then we have the last one. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Then we have that. Then we move to the second part of it. 5 times 2 is 10. 10 times 5 is 50. We have that. 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. We have that. Then 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 1 is 9. Now you have that. So you move again. So I'm going to add that. Let's do our normal days. We have 12 plus 20. Your 12 plus 20 is 32. You have 32. 32 plus 15, 
R47, that is 47 minus. You have 58 in this air, you have 58. 58 plus 9. Your 9 plus 8 is 17. You have this. That is 67. You have 67. So, what you have here is 47 minus 67. You have a 0. You have a 2. That is minus 20. Because you have 47 minus 67 is minus 20. So, the determinant of this matrix we have here is minus 20. That is the first method in which you can do that. Okay, let's try the second method and see if we are going to have the same thing. We are still going to be the same because we want to have the same answer. So we have that. Let's just look at it this form. The determinant is this. Okay, we have 2, 1, 5. We have 3, 2, 4. We have 5, 1, 3. This is the same, this is the matrix I used in getting the determinant. So we are going to look at second method on how to get the determinant. How do we do that? Let's look at this. Now, what we're going to do here is this. This is very straightforward. What we have here is that you, you are going to represent this up with plus, minus, minus, plus. So what I do here, I am going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have this here, this one, two, three, four. It means I'm going to have these two we multiply by this two, four, one, three. You know, maybe I said you're going to have plus there, so let's say you put a plus there. Then I say here is minus, minus one. The minus one, you're going to do this. We're going to divide 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 this here. Yeah. So this is the one we are looking for. So we have this three. We have this four. We have five. We have three. By the time you have this, at this point here, what you have is this, 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 this. So you have, um, you're going to have three, four, Five, three. Then we see our plus, plus five there. So if at this point here again, I draw this, I draw this. I'm going to have this when I when you have this at this point here. I'm going to have this four, three, three, five. So I have three, five. I have four, three. Now, we are good to go. And in my last, in my previous video, when I did my two by two, the determinant of two by two matrix, I said, when you are looking for the determinant of two by two matrix, what you need to do is just to multiply this and this, minus this. It means that two, it means that two into two times three, that is how the final value of 2 by 2 matrix. 1 times 4 minus 1 into 3 times 3 minus 5 times 4 plus 5 into 3 times 3 minus 5 5 into 3, 5, 4, 3. Minus 1 into 3, you have this. So here I'm going to have. Here you are going to have. Sorry, that one I was telling you that it's bound to make you say we are doing this. When you try to do this, split this and you split this, you're going to have 3, 2, 5, 1. 3, 2, 5, 1. When you play this air, draw this, you're going to learn with this, 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 this. That's 3, 2, 5, 1, which is this. When you place it at the middle, this way, you draw this, you draw this, you have 3, 
four, five, three. Three, four, five, three. The first one is when you draw this and you draw this, you have two, four, one, three. Good. So you have five now into three times one, three. You have three times one minus five times two. Okay, let's go. It means at this side I have two multiply by six minus four minus this side I have three times three, then nine minus twenty plus. 5 times 3 minus 10. Let's go. Let's go. We have 2 into 2 minus 9 minus 20 is going to give you minus 11. Then plus 5 into 3 minus 10 is going to give you minus 7. Let's go. Let's go. You have 4 minus as minus is plus, plus 11. Minus 35. So here yeah, I have um here yeah, I have 15 minus 35, which also give me minus 20. Okay, so I have minus 20 here now. I have minus 20 here. It means that I can use this method in getting my determinant. I can use this method in getting my determinant. So it depends on which one comes to your mind when you want to solve the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. So it, it, it simply means that you must have known your 2 by 2 matrix before you can solve your 3 by 3 matrix. So you can, you can see that when we are trying to find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix, we still make use of this 2 by 2 matrix. So the whole idea of 1 by 3 on the board is that you might choose to, to solve your determinant through this method and still get the answer and you might choose to what follow this pattern and still get your determinant. So this is what we are going to do if a determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. This is how you can get your determinant whenever you are asked to find the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix. Okay? Thank you. And then we, uh, I'm going to beg you guys, let me subscribe to my channel, let me like my videos, let me share my links.